Yeah, trans lives. Do they matter? Oh, hey, everybody. Didn't see you there. Happy Easter. And I hope everybody's having a great Passover. I'd like you all to meet my new friend, a Christian nationalist. Proudly so. One that took offense when I referred to World War II Germany and how they fell for that same trap. Light beer is still beer. They prey on your national identity and patriotism to pull you in and get your vote and put them in power. And then this Christian nationalist asked me what was wrong with that. And I said I got about six million answers. You put them in power and then a voting block disappears. Well, they would never do that, they said. So I asked them about trans people. How do they feel about trans rights? They are people, after all, children of God. I would like you all to tell them how you feel about this. I'll begin. As a U.S. Army combat veteran, I swore an oath to protect the Constitution. They are U.S. citizens. They have the right to exist, just like I as a pagan have a right to worship whatever I want. They have their life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness. Many members of the LGBTQ community serve in our armed forces, protecting your patriotism. And yet you won't stand up for them. You see, once they were in power in World War II, they needed somebody to kick down at. So they chose the Jews. This is the same play by the same people, and I'm asking you to not fall for it. Because it's the furthest thing from Christianity, and you can count on that. They also asked, what was wrong with Christian nationalism? Feel free to read the conversation. Educate this person. Maybe other Christians will learn. Because it's not gonna happen again. Anyway, culture, what's up with that? In one religion, a person rises after three days. And in another religion, it doesn't rise. The bread. That's terrible exit. I am ashamed. Happy Easter, everybody! Achachachachachach.